guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another episode of my True to Fit series slash review of the Woolridge Arctic Parka. You guys, I've only owned this parka for maybe about like three weeks and this legitly is one of the best discoveries I made in 2017. Like I don't understand how I did not know about the Woolridge brand before. This company has been around for like 188 years so they must be doing something right if they exist for this long. I first heard about the Woolridge brand on YouTube through one of Chase Amy's video. Is it just me or do you guys all also just notice that there's something about haul videos that just want to get you to buy 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 as if they're sending you subliminal messages to like make purchases but before I get on with this video let me get my disclaimer out of the way if you guys are brand new to my channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below because I currently don't have a regular upload schedule so the easiest way to be notified when I post a new video is by hitting that subscribe button down below and if you want to make your life a little easier you can hit the bell notification button what I really love about YouTube is the fact that it allows you to discover brands that exist outside your own little personal bubble or your comfort zone I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who does this but every time I'm interested in purchasing an item the first thing I do is turn the internet. I'm always looking up reviews or any sizing and detailed information I can get, especially on YouTube, because it kind of lets you see the item in action. Like it's you can only get so much from a website. You can see how this item worked for that person. Will it fit into your lifestyle? There's a lot of information you could get on YouTube, which is one of the reasons why I love watching YouTube videos. Unfortunately, one of the downsides of YouTube is if it's not an it item of the moment, you can barely find any videos or information online uh, about a specific item or brand that you're interested in, which is why I kind of created my channel. I kind of want to fill the void of reviews of other brands or products that exist out there outside the it items of the moment. There's so many brands out there that are worth discovering. For example, Woolrich. I honestly would have never known about this brand unless it was for YouTube. As much as I love luxury items, I don't have that lifestyle where I can just buy every luxury item that I come across or like piqued my interest. Like I really have to be selective what I like I buy. Like been watching me for a while, as you can probably tell from my handbag videos, I kind of don't buy the it trend items all the time. I really genuinely just buy items that I like and that I personally see fit into my like lifestyle and aesthetics. So my videos will contain content that I can look for when I'm looking up into a brand. Uh, the downside of this is the fact that my videos are probably not the most searched up videos, but that's okay. If my videos help one of you guys out, then my job is done because I honestly wish that more videos like this exist. So enough with the rant. Let me get on with the video about the Woolridge Arctic Parka. If you you guys seen my Boxing Day haul video, you guys would have known that I picked up this little guy on Boxing Day for a ridiculously markdown price. I picked up the Arctic Parka, which is a World Ridge classic that originated in 1975. It was originally designed for uh, workers working on the Alaskan pipelines. So if anyone knows about designing clothing, about keeping people warm, I would say World Ridge is one of those brands. That, and I can definitely attest to the fact that this parka, hands down, is one of the warmest parkas. I have ever owned. If you guys also live in the East Coast, you probably, probably know that we are currently experiencing like a cyclone bomb weather or a weather bomb weather, whatever you guys want to call it. You guys know in Montreal, the last two to three weeks, we've been having crazy temperature fluctuations where temperature drops basically to like minus 35 with the wind chill. And I've been nice and toasty thanks to the Woolrich Arctic Parka. Before I get on to raving about the Woolridge Ridge Arctic Parka, I just want to clarify, I bought this with my own money. Not only am I impressed by how warm the Woolridge Ridge Arctic Parka is, it is actually a very well-made garment. Did I mention it's also ridiculously light? It's like light as a feather. Um, I feel like Woolridge actually thought through the whole uh, process of constructing this jacket. Like there's nothing wrong that I could find uh, with this jacket. So the Woolwich Parka actually comes with a detachable fur trim. The best part about the trim is actually attached by a zipper. It's not attached by snaps because as much as I love snaps, I find the snaps are very annoying because the snaps always end up coming undone at one point, especially when I'm trying to take off my purse. They always pull off a snap. So with the zipper, I feel like the hood just stays in place. Like, so you can tell I'm not going to detach the whole thing just because reattaching it is going to be a nightmare because it's just like fur, like it's just like hair everywhere. By attaching the fur trim with the zipper, it is securely in place. Did I also mention the fur trim has this like wire built into it, so you can kind of just mold it into the shape of the hood that you want, which is really great because sometimes I've noticed with my other fur, fur trim parkas, it kind of just flops and kind of like 
collapses in weird places, but this one you can just bend it and it just stays exactly in the shape that you want it. Uh, my fur trim is actually a full fur trim. If you look on the Woolworth website, especially the American site, for some reason uh, it's only real coyote fur that's available, but mine is actually made of full fur. And when I saw that it was made of full fur, I legitly thought I had like a knockoff jacket, so I actually contacted Woolridge. And they assured me like, no, it's actually a uh, a real wool rich jacket. For some reason in Europe they actually have the option for you to purchase a full fur trim instead of a real fur trim. I don't know why that option doesn't exist in the American website but because I picked up this jacket from Clamonical they actually had the full fur trim option. They assured me that Clamonical is actually one of the authorized resellers. I don't know if you guys are aware of this but the fur trim actually does serve a purpose. There's a reason why most parkas, especially heavy duty parkas, have a fur trim hood. It actually serves the purpose to keep you warm. She breaks down the airflow and prevent the occurrence of frostbite, especially on your cheeks, which is why most heavy duty parkas have uh, a fur trim. I don't think it makes a difference between a real fur trim and a full fur trim as long as there is one and it's like a giant hood it really does cut down on the amount of wind you feel on your cheeks. The Woolwich Parka is actually composed of 80% down feathers and 20% duck feathers. And fun fact you guys, down feathers is actually one of Mother Nature's best insulators. The exterior of the Woolwich Arctic Parka is composed of a Raymar shell, which is wind resistant, snow resistant, and water resistant. And I can't emphasize enough how important a wind resistant exterior is, especially in a Canadian winter because it plays a huge factor in you staying warm and toasty. It has two large exterior pockets as well as two pockets at the breast for your hands. And this is how much attention Woolwich pays to the construction of their garments. Their pockets are actually fleece lined so they keep your hands nice and toasty when you don't have mittens on. Um, another detail that I noticed with the Woolwich jacket is they actually have two interior pockets. Um, and they're large interior pockets. Like, look how big this pocket is. Both interior pockets are this size, which is ridiculous because most interior pockets in my other parkas are like so small, they literally just fit like a card holder. Like, I don't even know what the purpose of those pockets serve, but these ones you can actually put items in. Another detail that the Woolwich Arctic Parka has um, to help you stay warm is the fact that it actually has a cord inside the jacket to help you cinch in the waist a little bit so you can kind of like keep the wind out. In regards to the fit of the Woolwich Arctic Parka, when I looked on their website, they actually recommend you to size up one size because they are cut to a European size. When I was trying this at Clamonical, I purchased a medium because I didn't really have a choice. They had either extra small medium or large. Um, I wanted to try the small to be on the safe side. I don't know if you guys also do that. I Maybe I'm just the only crazy one who does that. When I try, usually when I try something on and it does fit me properly, I'm just always curious because I'm always wondering if I got the right size. So I'll usually try the size below to make sure um, I do have the correct size. Uh, but this one actually does fit me uh, properly because I tried a small in another uh, style of the Woolrich jackets and I couldn't, like it was ridiculously tight in my arm. I believe if you if you range between a small and a medium, they tell you to size up to a medium. So I believe I did purchase the proper size in this jacket. Like, you guys have no idea how impressed I am by this jacket. I was wearing this jacket for like two weeks and it is like hands down like one of the best parkas. Like, I really just want to go run out and buy a Woolridge parka for my mother because that's how much I love this jacket. It's so like, Lily and I are both impressed by this jacket to the point where we fight over this jacket. Um, it's a little big on Lily, she's a little bit smaller than me, but she, but she does make it work by pulling in the waist a little bit more than I would, but like we, legitly just fight over this jacket all the time. Every time it's like ridiculously cold and I put on this jacket and she's like, oh, I see you're wearing this jacket this time. Like, I thought you said I could borrow it. And I was just like, do you want the jacket off my back? Uh, that's how much we both love this Woolrich jacket. Like, I don't understand why no one talks about the Woolrich parkas. It's one of the most well-made, well-thought-out parkas that I've come across. Like, I own a Pajara parka. As much as I love the Pajara parkas and they do keep me warm, they are quite heavy. Uh, another thing I can't emphasize when it comes to buying a parka is to make sure you get the proper size because the fit of the parka will play a huge factor in how warm a parka can keep you. I, I bought a lot of parkas and I used to buy them uh, a little bit bigger with the notion that I should be able to fit a heavy layer underneath, like a big chunky sweater underneath to keep me warm. The fit of a parka should be snug. It shouldn't be super tight. Uh, you should be able to lift your arms, but like, think of it as a hug. Um, your parka should basically just hug you because 
most you pretty much only need to be able to fit a thin layer underneath it. Because if your parka fits you correctly and hugs you correctly, it will prevent a lot of the wind from traveling up, which will reduce a lot of the coldness you'll feel. That is one of the major lessons I've learned throughout the years of purchasing parkas, is not to buy them too big. Hopefully my review of the Wellbridge Arctic Parka was helpful for any of you guys who are interested in the Arctic Parka or the Wellbridge brand in general because I am re I am truly impressed by the quality and the craftsmanship of the Wellbridge Parkas. Like hands down this is best discovery of 2017 even though I've only used this jacket for about two to three weeks. That's how much I love this freaking jacket. So that is it for this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye now!